I still can't quite believe it, but this is our new floaty home, Kimberly Joe. 25 years ago, we both thought that if you can't do, teach. We were in it for the long holidays, the short hours, 9 to 3.30, and the chance to sit at the front of the class while the children did the work. That didn't quite work out how we thought. We're now back from four years teaching in China to mess about on boats, so come join us on the waterways of England. There's our boat, oh, finger, finger, point finger, there you go. Tony's just got his sunglasses. We're going to have a bit of an explore, we're going to go and see, what is it, the tea rooms? So we're going to go and see the tea rooms anyway, and then there's two pubs, which we think would be, on a day like today, would be rude not to, wouldn't it? What? It would be rude not to. Not to what? Not to check out the pubs in the local area. We're going to the tea room, Simon. If you, if you must go to the pub, no, we're we'll going go to the, the pub as well. I've I think we're just going to go to the tea rooms. I've room. already said we're going to the tea rooms first, actually. What's all this pub so, stuff then? So everyone else is really busy, like, touching up their boats and doing, like, you know, nice handy worky stuff. And we're, we're off to explore. Yeah. This is the lift bridge we came through earlier on. This one was operated by Key. Um, but it was a tricky little manoeuvre because you come off of the services which are adjacent to the turn. But we did it. This is the corner Sunday went round. No dead bodies that day. Come on. This is cool. So, this is what retirement looks like on the canals. <laughs> There's our home. And loving life. So I am obsessing about the lean on our boat, our list to the left. But I've been checking out all the other boats and they've all got a slight lean the same as us. So maybe it's not as bad as I thought. <laughs> we are going to make a hole in the boat. Don't like making holes in boats. <laughs> But we thought we'd go a hole in the floor of the boat as well, even better. No. Well, the thing is, I'm obsessed by this listing. It's not really listing very much at all. I think it's quite natural. Yeah. But one of the things they say, you've got to check your bilges. We haven't got a bilge access point anywhere for the cabin bilge. And it is something you're supposed to have to check. So, we're going to create a little hole just to see. So we have ball. Hole cutters. Hole cutters which go on to the electric drill. And then the idea is that under the step, which is just here, where we keep our shoes and things at the moment, that is where someone's going to dig, dig, <laughs> not dig, cut the hole. Dig a hole. Cut a hole and have a little look and see how much water there is. I'm sure there'll be some water, there's condensation and water drip through and stuff. So I, I expect there to be water down there. But at least we can just hoover it out then. Hmm. So that's the plan for today. Shouldn't actually be too big a job. That's going clockwise. is the hole it's like a plug <laughs> hopefully it doesn't do the opposite of a plug and let all the water in so that's what we cut out the bottom of the boat 
because we just the boat, the floor. because we just thought that all boats should have a hole in the bottom. And it's a Titanic job. So what are we up to today? We are going on. Um, well, what is it called? Something? It's just called the Circular Walk Kidlington. So yes, yeah, so we're heading through just to have a look around, see what's going on. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a big loopy walk. It takes us all through like fields and along the river and through the woodlands. Yeah, nice. See if we can spot some wildlife. I saw a deer yesterday. Yep. Didn't we? Next to the, near the boat on the field opposite the boat. So that was kind of cool. Um, hope to see something else today. Bye. Bye. And guess what river that is. <laughs> oh, he's a Joe well. Yeah, she says that. because that's on the instructions. So it says go over style by ash tree. <laughs> Me on the other hand, I'm just gonna walk through the gate. Yeah, that is see. open. Something tells me rain is due. <laughs> Those sheep know something that we don't. Okay, so we've got to go through this gate and then just as we looked up, we saw that. Good job, I didn't wear my red top today. <laughs> You'd be going first. It's not a bull, is it? No, I mean, it might be a it's, cow. It's a cow. There's other cows on the left there. Yeah. But, but my like god. Massive. Wow. Right. <sighs> right, okay. Got the camera going. Yeah. Because I think we'll get lots of figures when I get empowered by one of these. <laughs> Huge. Right there, it's huge. That's not be a bull, son. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's massive. Oh my god. It's the size of a car. Jesus Christ. This reminds me of that scene in Jurassic Park. Right, so it's Monday afternoon ish, just after lunch. No, it's Sunday. Sunday, even. So it's Sunday. Um, and we're going to get started with our varnishing. So if you can kind of see hmm, behind me, that wooden bit there is what we're going to start to do. So you can see it came around here as well. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we're going to sand it down. But before we do that, we have got to take off the covers. So we're going to take off the covers.
is what is coming out after its first sanding. Actually, this side looks particularly good. This side good. looks particularly good, yeah, fingers crossed. Just as we were starting to do the sanding, both batteries needed charging, so they're both being charged at the moment. Uh, we had the washing machine at the same time, and now what's happened is the washing machine stopped and wouldn't carry on going, and we couldn't open it or anything, so now we're having to pull it out. As you can see there, maybe just about. So it's been pulled out, and now what we're gonna do, son? We're going to find out the dirty, all the dirty stuff. What are we going to do, Sam? We're going to... I'll check the filter at the front of the washing machine. That was clean. And there was just so much water in it. I've been emptying it out at like 10 mils at a time. So it doesn't go anywhere. And now we've pulled it out and we're going to check the water inlet pipe to see if that's blocked. And if that's blocked, that's why. But one of the reasons they say is because the water pressure is not enough. So, that's what we're doing now on our Sunday. Yeah, we didn't want to do this today. No. Well, we've still got, we've got all the stuff sanded now, pretty much. Just got to do one more lot of sanding, but we can't do that until the batteries. So we'll wait for the batteries. We've got to try and fix the washing machine. <sighs> I hope we can fix the washing machine, because I've got a big pile of washing. <laughs> anyway. So what are you doing now? Taking out the inlet filter. I think, I hope. And is using a pair of scissors what they recommend to use? No, they said pliers, but my tool bag's on the other side of the boat. <laughs> Sandra a 40. We went over with what was it on the second one? It was 140 and, and then, then a 60. 140. Oh, it was a 60 and I thought it was 40 the first one. Yeah, it could be a 40 and then a 120. A 40, then we did a 120, and you can see the difference. It looks really tatty this used to. But it's now gone back to the wood. You can see the grain on it much more. So it's all done now. The next step. Not sure about that. Yacht varnish. It's varnish. Yacht varnish. This is our yacht now. Sonia. She's such a stirrer. Please don't watch me do this. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Right, I'm just going to watch Sonia because she says don't watch her. And there goes on. Oh, let's get the camera right. There goes on. First bit of varnish. So here is one layer. Oh, try not to get my shadow on that. One layer. Um, and this is flying a lot at the moment. This job. Well, this is because I think because it's had the first coat already. Yeah. It's going on easier because it's not being sucked into the wood. Got ya. So today's cruising day. Um, we are heading off to Oxford. It's a bit of a weird one today because we're hoping for a spot, but if we don't find one, we're going to kind of go up into Oxford, turn around and come back again. So fingers crossed that we find a spot. We're after one at a place called Jericho. And from now, it's literally you in the city, right in the middle of it, which is fantastic. So I'm really excited by it, hoping that we get there, but ready for the idea that we might need to come back. Although turning round could be an issue because the only way to turn for a boat of our size is you have to go down a lock, spin it round, back in the lock and back again. So we shall see what happens. Meanwhile, in the background, I won't show her because she's not... Because I've got her hat on. <laughs> she's got her hat on. But meanwhile, in behind me, Sonia is measuring. 
because I'm guessing yesterday <laughs> our um, washing machine stopped working. Perfect. Yeah. Tried everything with it, but we've ordered a new one, but we can't get it till the 10th, which is about two and a half weeks from now. And Sonia's worried. <laughs> Sonia's worried that they might not be able to get it into the boat, even though we've got one the same size in the boat already. Yeah, but they might have put it in before the fit out was finished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to measure the back doors now just to make sure. Yeah, you can get it though if I just come around here. Here's the hatch, which is wide enough to get one in anyway. So even if I had to come and bring it in through there, it's absolutely fine. If not, behind us, there's another door there. So lots of ways for them to get in. Plenty of space, they should be able to make it even when the So here's our woodwork, got all in its glory. You can see, it looks so much better. I'm really, really pleased with it. Yeah. All ready for it. Hopefully, our journey to and stay at Oxford. If not, journey to and come back from Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> uh, either way, we're going to get to Oxford today at some yeah. point. and um, we've arrived at the water point and someone's there so we're gonna have to wait I think they came past us this morning so Tony's pulling us in and we're just gonna queue up behind them and um, there are other water points along here but Tony's gonna head off in a minute to pick up some parcels from Amazon in um, the post office at Kidlington so while he's gone I'm going to fill up water and then I'm going to meet him down at the next bridge at some point so all good Poor dear. Yeah, he jumped in. There. He lives down here somewhere because someone's dog had a go at him. Oh, really? Or, she, or whatever it is. No, it's not there. No, it's gone. Another Come on, a bit further. So, Nanny says there's a bit, if it keeps on going, I'm glad to get out just down here. But it keeps trying to get out of the side, which must be tiring it out. Yeah. Looks like it might be actually get out of the top almost. It might be out. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's in the reeds, sort of like over there. Ah. Oh. seen some beautiful um, lock keeper cottages this might be the nicest one also available in different colours um... me. Um, CRT are dredging the locks so we have uh, got to leave the bottom gate open when we go through which is please Tony no end. Yeah all work's going on. Got to pay attention now because we're going down. I feel like I'm on the M25 with all the cones. I know that. And the men at work sign which is just on the other side of the lock there. I think they're doing a lot of them, aren't they? That one that had the door stuck. Yeah. What you should do is throw all our rubbish in now. 
<laughs> Isn't it? They're going to dredge it anyway. <laughs> Quick, go get the bags on. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> Throw this can in. Okay, it's only a four foot drop, but this is um, a slow lock because one of the paddles isn't working. So in the side of this lock, there are low, these little chains and that's where you put your ropes to hold your boat steady if you're single handing. Um, so yeah, I've been, I think it's the first one I've seen. I say the first one. I may, there may have been others, but this is the first one I've noticed. Because there are no bollards on, on this one to tie up to. So you will use the chains instead. Icky. Very narrow. But I think as long as just get yours as close as you can because it's just um You know what I mean? You're you're fine on this side now. It's like a wooden Oh nice to see a wooden bridge. Isn't it? Yeah. Where it's going to. It's over the water, son. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of a TV I had once. I had a wooden TV. Only problem was, it wouldn't work. <laughs> there you've got Duke's Lock. And after Duke's Lock, if you turn right, you go on to Duke's Cut, which takes you to the Thames. But we're not going that way today. We're going to go straight on. Busy, busy. So, Duke's Lock, Duke's Cut Junction. And this is how locks should work. But this obviously has been done recently. There's not a leak, a non-leaky lock. Lovely. see the sign for all the foliage but this is Wolvercote Lock. We're going to see from here on if there is somewhere to moor we might moor and then see how far we are from Oxford as a walk. So through there you've got the Agenda 21 moorings and um, they're set aside for residential but um, I don't know a lot about it but I think it's causing problems in places like London if you're close to London there's not really a lot of places to stop but I might do a bit of reading up about it to see what the effects have been on the canal so far. So there we are, you've seen us got all the way through to Oxford. Got a, a lovely mooring just outside a park um, before visited by those swans. And next week you'll find out as we finish off Oxford, finally. In the sun this time, not in the tipping rain. Yeah, it's weird, it looked quite different, didn't it? It, 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 was, it was a really different experience, funnily yeah. enough. Yeah. So all we've got left is for Sonia to say her timings. Okay, so if you like the video, please like and press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. We really appreciate it if you do. And um, don't forget to click the notifications button if you want to be notified next time we upload. Always keep your comments coming as well. They're really, really appreciated. Tony loves reading them. Yeah. Well, as we're on the Oxford, why not take a pun and come and watch us next week? <laughs> That's the best better one. That's the better one. <laughs> I'll take that. Right, anyway, have a good week, everyone. Have a good week, everyone.